So welcome back everyone and not too terribly long ago we did a bit of a tutorial video on showing you guys how to enable the Riva Tuner Statistics Overlay using MSI Afterburner. Now something that I have seen floating across the web over some time is the impact of the overlay and Riva Tuner Statistics Server on Radeon cards. So long and short, that's what we wanted to take a look at today. We wanted to see, was there a measurable difference in performance with it enabled and with it disabled? Because even in the past, I have used it to demonstrate and show on-screen performance with Radeon cards and GeForce cards as well, even though uh, according to the or, well, internet myth or the discussion floating around is there's no impact on GeForce cards. Now we are taking the Radeon RX 488 gigabyte reference edition and the GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte founders edition to do these numbers. Now, what I don't want you guys to do is to use this as a comparison of the 480 and the 1060, because that's not what this is. They're just there for comparative points in uh, variation between our RTSS on and RTSS off, if you will. But we are running it on our Intel test bench, so a Z370 classified K from EVGA and the Core i5-8600K at five gigahertz with 16 gigs of DDR4-3200. So the RX 480 is running with plus 50% power limit to ensure that it stays locked at its core frequency. And for the GTX 1066 gigabyte, this one stays at a constant 1886 megahertz. So we really don't have to worry about doing anything there to keep it consistent. So that was the key here was consistency between runs because I wonder sometimes did some people run it and let the cards heat up and then over time they go see there's a difference so let's jump into the results and see did we find a difference between the Riva tuner overlay on and off so right up first we're gonna take a look at fire strike uh, just because it's a synthetic and it's quick and easy and dirty and it can measure differences in graphics pretty easily so we're looking at the graphics score specifically and we see about a hundred you know almost 200 points difference on the 480, whereas the 1060 sees about a 50 point difference. The 50 point difference is within margin of error and runs, but over, but right at a 200 point difference, that's, that's a measurable difference. There's something going on there that is impacting the performance. But what about in actual games? Let's, uh, I'm gonna jump into Dirt Rally first. Now looking at the graphs, you'll see the 1060 and the 480 are separated with RTSS on and off, because again, I didn't want you comparing the graphics card specifically, but rather the impacted difference in running the overlay. Uh, here we see nothing really. I mean, it's all margin of error. That's actually the 480 was hyper consistent and got the same numbers there. So off to a start that doesn't really show a whole lot going on. But if we move things over to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we see here, uh, interestingly enough, there, there's an impact on the lows. The average, not so much, but the lows, the 1% and 0.1% lows in the RX 480 were uh, measurably impacted. So, I mean, more than two FPS at that low of a frame rate, that's a, that's a difference. It definitely impacts it there. And the RX, or, Moving on to Middle Earth Shadow of War. Um, there we go. There's another pretty hefty difference there. Uh, that's a six FPS difference on the 0.1% lows. Again, the averages didn't budge and the 1% lows stayed about the same, but we did have a six FPS hit that's greater than 10% on the 0.1% lows. So that's a, that's a pretty big hit there. Now, four is a four. Uh, right there again, we're looking at margin of error differences. So not a whole lot of differences there to talk about. So at the end of the day, what did we learn? Well, truth is there are times that the overlay does have an impact on Radeon cards. So it is worth knowing that and worth taking into account when you're seeing overlays with performance. This has honestly changed the way that I'll be doing APU stuff in the future, rather than using Riva Tuner to show the overlay and performance. I'm gonna use the built-in Radeon settings, Radeon overlay to show those numbers because at, like, I mean, most of the games when we're running on the APU are running between 30 and 40 FPS at 1080p. And you can really affect the results at that, that point. So that's something to keep in mind. Well, I mean, I guess 
uh, myth not busted. So it's true. There is a difference. So if you guys have seen this in your own testing or your own gameplay, or if this is something you didn't know about, either way, let us know what you think about this topic down in the comment section below. We'd love to discuss it down there as well as over on the site if that's where you'd rather be in the comment section. I, that's on you. But either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.